Good afternoon from the Pompeii Observatory. I've received many requests for this video to show how I equatorially mount my dwarf or my sea star. We're going to start with the obvious. The latitude of Pompeii is about 43 degrees. You can get, I got an 8 inch angle bracket from the hardware store. I have a vise that allows me to grab on the angle bracket and a 2 inch pipe to allow me to bend the angle bracket. I measured 43 degrees so that the angle bracket will have to be 47 degrees so I can mount the telescope on the edge of the angle bracket. This is what we started with and after bending it with the pipe this is what I ended up with. Exactly 47 degrees, that's 90 degrees minus 43. These are the sea star and the dwarf. As you can tell the screws are slightly different and uh, in the case of the dwarf too it's a quarter inch, in the case of the sea star it is 5 sixteenths of an inch. And I got the proper threaded rods that will allow me to mount them onto the angle bracket which you can see in the top right corner of this picture. A drill bit was necessary to make a slightly larger hole in the angle bracket for the sea star. The dwarf will have no problem fitting in the existing holes. It may be advisable to drill the holes before you bend the angle bracket because it's easier to grab with the vice grip. Because the sea star has four rubber legs around the edges, it is necessary to use a washer, a thick washer in this case, that will rest onto the bracket so that the sea star will revolve around its axis. I used a tripod that I already have. This came with the uh, Celestron 6SE, 8SE mount. And I still look at that uh, investment way back, just buying the mount of the tripod as proving a very good multi-use investment. Uh, please notice that uh, that mount, sorry, that, that tripod is already threaded and uh, those threads proved very good to tie down the bracket. I used a quarter inch uh, bolt with a flat washer and the lock washer and uh, tied it down. If you look at the very corner of my railing you may notice an orange piece of duct tape. This is how I polar align the mount. Uh, I have measured the tangent of the four degrees that is uh, the angle of the house and I position the tripod so that the bracket is aligned with that orange duct tape at the very tip of the railing. Is this alignment going to be good enough if you are using a go-to mount that relies on perfect polar alignment? Nope. Is this going to be good enough to eliminate or reduce significantly the field rotation from a otherwise alt as mounted telescope like dwarf or sea star and the answer is yes this does the job here it is at an angle fastened down and ready to take the telescope that's how i mount the sea star it is uh, pointed towards polaris or towards the north celestial pole for all intents and purposes and before you start with the calibration, make sure that you do not skip horizontal calibration. Uh, this is absolutely necessary to uh, confirm the new alignment, the polar alignment of the sea star. I put the sea star on and I tried to measure the level and it told me adjust the tripod until the two circles coincide 
and uh, that you are 47.1 degrees off. To which I said, yay, because that's exactly what I needed. Uh, I am at uh, 42.9 degrees. So this is a perfect bending of uh, that angle bracket. And here it is. Assume for a moment or imagine that it is dark and night and you open the arm to have the lens look at the sky. And it is at this point when it's looking to the sky that uh, you just start stacking without aiming at anything in particular. It is that process that will send it into initialization progress and horizontal calibration. And that is really all you need. Once it is done with horizontal calibration, you're good to go to image in equatorial mode with the sea star. That's how you'd mount the dwarf. Pretty much the same way. And this is the process for the dwarf. You go to Astro mode. There is a new feature with the new app that is Equi mode. The equatorial mode neutralizes the effect of earth rotation on target tracking, enables stable tracking. Uh, you select confirm and it tells you to please focus at first. Let's assume it's done. And then talks about prepare the necessary tools, a compass. Uh, we have already done that part. It asks whether the location is correct. In our case, it's uh, Pompey, New York. We are close enough. Otherwise, you can set it manually. And it tells you to mount it. Please note that the angle here is the angle of uh, the dwarf relative to the horizon. The angle that I was working with earlier was the angle of the bracket relative to the horizon and dwarf was at 90 degrees of the bracket. So we're talking about the same thing. That angle is 43 degrees either way. And then it goes to check the alignment exactly the way she started. I'm going to leave it at here at this point and then uh, we will do actual equatorial imaging with both sea star and wharf and show the results but for now this is how i built my rig and i can use it for both sea star and wharf